first momentous stop on the journey at the Shell Station, paying way too much for gas. We went to the Purple Cow. I got Carlo. He is my co-pilot. <laughs> and we are heading out. Next stop, Alabama. This cool truck I got. Yay. <laughs> Duff man walking. Take care. Hey everybody, Duffman here at the Pinhody Trail and my very first steps. This is it. Journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. And there it is. Obey these rules. Of course, leave no trace. And the very first logbook station. There's the logbook. I already signed it. Left a little shout out for all the people. It's going to be cool. Keep it on, keep it on. Hey, I got into this section here with these, I don't know, stick pines or something like that. It's weird. You find, look out there, a lot of trash off the side of the trail, real, real old. And what's really weird is like, over here, this one, it's like a stove or something. And I saw a refrigerator earlier and a fan. It's like someone had a houseware store and threw all their stuff away out here on the trail. Kind of makes you wonder how this stuff gets out here. No need for sunscreen. It's pretty, Pretty well covered here, on this section at least. Uh, nice and cool. So little humidity. Oh my god, I love it. It's only in the 80s. Uh, it's pretty great. This is still the first three miles of the trail, but uh, I've been up and down a lot and many switchbacks, so it's pretty cold though. I'm liking it. Hey, my first water crossing. <laughs> Wasn't really that much of a water crossing, but I took this opportunity to take a little rest, uh, got up my Sawyer, did my very first ever through hiking in the woods, filtered some water, cameled up, drank a whole bunch of it, filled the water bottle back up, and now I'm ready to take off again. So much fun. Find this cool little bench, which I will take advantage of for a few minutes because it overlooks this amazing scene. Take a look at that river down there. I wonder if the trail goes by it. Probably does. Get some water. Not that I'm running out or anything, but so I got a liter and a half left. But it's early yet. It's good to know there's water around. Everything's flowing. Very nice. Bring trekking poles. Duffman commends it. You'll be going down steep inclines like this one. And having these poles really helps. So bring them. Uh, plenty of water. Could take a swim if I felt like it. Don't think I'm gonna. Got a little wreck area here. A little sandy beach. A little fire ring, some logs. Cool stuff. All right, first tick. There he is. Use the tick remover to get him off. Ooh wee! Duck man. Hey. Fallen trees are everywhere. Man, this is the biggest one I've seen. Look at the size of that sucker. Oh, this is this is me next to the tree. Ooh hoo! Oh boy. Uh, boy. That was a big. <laughs> that was a big guy. One thing this trail has is a buttload of fallen trees. They're everywhere. I guess some real bad weather must have happened here recently. All, all right. Came out of the woods to my first road walk. Gonna walk up this way, I'm pretty sure, to a little town almost a mile away. It's gonna put me at 
whew, eight miles, I think. Not bad for day one. Oh, God, the beginning was terrible. But <laughs> I'll tell you guys more about it later.